Tubman Fast program. My audio, audio filter's at five here. Right next to Giving Tree. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Right here. Screamer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Screamer, right here. It's deep too. It's a deep one. The ground's really wet here. I've been digging up a bunch of false signals. I'm gonna have to adjust my detector here in a minute. It's up in here. Hard to find this target here. Could be in the hole right there, right on the surface. Nope. This is a good target, man. It's a non-ferrous target here. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah, bring it. Is it a little button right there? It's a hard ball. What have we got? Are you going on? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Something small there. It's a ball needle. Yes. Is it a ball needle or a, is it a... Uh, looks like a ball needle right there with a the, uh, needle broken off of it. Just a, uh, a fitting. Kind of looked like a lighter front wheel at first, but it's not a lighter front wheel. So I'm gonna take my hood off here makes it way easier to metal detect without my hood on it was raining pretty good there a few minutes ago so just take my hood off there the ground is just super soft here today non first target right next to giving tree every time i come over this area it's just different man i can never i can never use the same program twice man right it's just it's different every day man it just got done pouring down rain just a few minutes ago and i'm, I'm already starting to dry out a little bit here only rain for a couple minutes though. So there's a mass target here. Oh, it's really wet here. This ground is super mushy. I might not be able to find this target because it's so wet. Yeah, it's gone. It's just completely gone here. And the sidewall right there. Try it again. What's that? Oh, it's some brass here. It's some brass. Uh, it's a brass nut. Right there, see that? Screw in a nut. See that? Brass. <laughs> right next to Giving Tree, man. You never know what you're gonna find for the day, right? Once you start adjusting your your settings, you really find a lot of different stuff, man. Which is crazy. All this stuff is here. I'm just crazy to think how many metal detectors have skipped this target. Because I most of my friends hunt around this tree right here, and I hunt around it all the time. Just crazy, man. I really like these settings with the higher audio filter here. You know, I highly praised this um, audio filter on this when. Um, when I was beta testing it, and I even do now, this audio filter, I always use it right, on all my programs. 
you know, some people who went back to 0.71, they don't have this audio filter on that, on those versions, right? So they're missing out, man. These roots are really bad here. I don't know, this is probably not gonna come out here today. Cause I'm just moving so much soil around here. Oh boy, just nasty soil. Oh boy. I'll try it. <laughs> it's a nail. It's just uh, hand forged something there. What we got here? It's got a big old clump of junk on it. It's weird. It's a weird nail there. There is something down here. There is something down here. The rest of that nail right there. Or no, it's not. It's not the rest of that nail. Oh my gosh. What do we got here? It's some. It's some deep brass right here. Some deep brass. See that? What we got here? Just so muddy, I can't, oh, I just destroyed it. Just completely destroyed it. Cause it's just too muddy, right? Oh, it's got some design on it. It's got, uh, oh, it just fell apart. Not much I can do with this muddy stuff here, right? I just, I don't know what I got. It was non first target right there. Around some iron. So I, I'm really liking this audio filter. I mean, I, I always have liked this audio filter, but um, turning it up really does some weird stuff to the iron, and it does some weird stuff to the non-ferrous targets. It really matters what your your um, discrimination is too. I'm at 40 discrimination here. Just keep that in mind here. I don't want to dig out those. There's so many little pieces of foil here, just a little tiny piece of foil that. If I were to accept those little piece of foil, I'll be digging out a bunch of targets. I would try to find targets that I would not be able to find because my pin pointer is just so muddy today too. I'm in the higher frequencies here. So what I can do is go like this, go down to, um, oh, my coil's getting low here. 14 kilohertz. So stay in the lower frequencies. Probably not gonna happen today. Not with the uh, wet soil here. Tighten this up here. Boy. Oh man, getting it awful tight there. I might have to um put some new washers in there. Or put a new uh, clip in there to keep it tight. Now the sun's coming out. This nut. Something big here. I'm not gonna go for that one. My, uh, my reactivity's at four here. So I need to keep my swing speed up a little bit faster here. Ah, the sun's coming out. It's probably gonna make my camera all screwed up. This video all screwed up. So I have a three of auto response here to show you. Auto response is set at three here. Watch, we'll go to six here. So 
So I changed, which was the odd response. There's just no way to hunt like that. <laughs> no way. I'll go down to, to one here. I'll go to zero. It just really settles the machine so it's not so sensitive to the smaller targets, those little bits of foil. But I'm in the lower frequencies right now here anyway. I really don't want to be in the lower frequencies right now because um, my my uh, my battery's gonna die here, right? I should probably actually just um see what I got. Down to one bar here. I probably have another hour to go before my battery goes down. I have my larger coil in the bushes there, so thank you for watching.